be honest, did anybody actually see that coming? I certainly didn't. Wolves 2, Manchester United 1 for the second time in, what, three weeks? Um, I think you'd have got very, very good odds on that to happen uh, both times. But Wolves, I don't think we played as well as we did in that previous uh, game in the FA Cup tie. However, we stayed in the game like we've done so often this season in those big games against big teams. And we just made, we took our chances or they were taken for us in the case of uh, the second one. Um, the first 15, 20 minutes, I didn't think we played particularly well. I think we, it was similar to sort of uh, Saturday in that we were lethargic and a little bit sort of chicken in out of tackles and stuff like that, which I was a little bit concerned about. But the team selection suggested that Nuno wanted Wolves to win this and wanted to, to go into Wembley with a, a positive mindset. And having steadied the ship, you know, the, United could have easily scored after six seconds. Lingard broke from the from the kickoff and should have done better, really, with his effort. Um, the goal from United, from uh, McTominay, it was a very, very good, well-struck uh, finish right across the ground into the bottom corner. You could argue Patricio could have got across to it. However, that being said, Patricio did have a fantastic game today. Two world-class saves. Uh one from Lukaku was straight at him um, from the header. A yard either side of it, he would have beaten him, but he managed to he was straight at him, fortunately. But then there was one in the second half where he had to get down very, very quickly uh, to save that. On the other hand, the Manchester United goalkeeper, David De Gea, didn't think that he had a particularly good game today. Uh, felt that, well, it was his mistake that led, it was a poor kick out and then Fred lost it. But Wolves capitalised on that, you know, fortuitously. And uh, Jota... Struck it straight at De Gea, really, um, and went straight through him to make it 1-1 at half-time. Wolves played the better football in the second half of the first half as well. They certainly got into the game much better and looked the most looked the more threatening for a long period in the second half. Uh, sorry, the first half. Um, as the second half began then, I, th- I think so, same sort of pattern. Wolves were breaking really well. And the Manchester United defence... Similar to the FA Cup game, struggled to cope with the pace of Jota and Jimenez and the way they were linking up again was really, really good. Um, and it culminated then in uh, Ashley Young getting a second yellow card and Mike Dean's 100th red card in the Premier League. Uh, what a moment um, for him. I, I did actually stand up and give him a clap because having listened to the football ramble, they've been talking about it for a couple of weeks and for it to happen at a Wolves game. I was, it was a pleasure to be there to see it happen. Uh, I don't think you can argue really about the red card. I think well, the Man United fan that I was texting during the game did say that he didn't feel that it was a, uh, a red card, but it was his second yellow. And it was coming. Three of the back four were on yellow cards at the time. And with the pace that Jota had, I was calling for Traore to come on as well. Uh, you know, but it ended up with uh, Ashley Young being sent off. So that was uh, that was great. The winner <laughs> was a bit of a strange goal. Not as it felt weird because there was no euphoria, you know, because of the way that it went in in comparison to the way that Jota's went in a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but Dendonka forcing Small in into the confusion. Uh, and De Gea, again, you could argue, made a mistake and uh, trickling over the line there to make it 2-1. Wolves did have chances to make it even more and they should have really taken them. Um, Cavalier with the best one, I'd say, uh, smashing against the bar where really he should have been placing it and putting it past De Gea. He had plenty of time to do so. Um, but really, really pleased. And going into Wembley now on the back of a result like that is superb. I was thinking before the game... You know, all day I've been thinking, all week I've been thinking, well, we're going to lose against United, so let's just get the game out of the way and let's look forward to Wembley. But actually, today was one to savour as well. And really, we're going into Wembley on the crest of a wave. Yes, Watford won today as well, against, albeit against Fulham. Um, so we've both had similar results over this week. We've lost one and won one, but we've beaten Manchester United. They lost to Manchester United. They beat Fulham... <laughs> Uh, but it's almost a problem now that Wolves need to sort of sort out for next season because if we could, if we'd have won the games that we should be winning, we would be genuinely pushing for, certainly for a top five place, maybe for a top four. You could argue that the two games against Huddersfield, the game against Brighton away, the game against Burnley uh, on Saturday, they're games that we should have been winning. That's twelve points, so that would be putting us up towards sixty points with six games to go. It's possible. You know, I was talking on my live stream before the game about European football for next year. I think that definitely a push for the top four could be on if we can just sort out this not being able to play against the 
the lower teams. But anyway, I'm going to call it a day there. Um, I'm going to try and get a couple of videos up uh, before Sunday, uh, previewing the game or a few little bits and bobs, hopefully to inspire some memories and to get everybody in the mood for Sunday. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on today's game, please, in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content from the old Golden Black. That was better than Saturday, wasn't it? Anyway, cheers. Bye-bye.